<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. In today's video I will be going through the cards in my at this date biggest PSA submission I've ever done. And there are 25 cards in total. So first up is a Tangler from the Japanese web series. For those of you that don't know, I'm trying to collect the whole set in either PSA 9 or PSA 10. A slight little bit of whitening in that top corner. But other than that, it's fairly minty. Next up, we have the Execute. This is a first edition also from the web series. Um, I was trying to get them all uh, first edition. Fortunately, they're becoming more and more difficult to get hold of at the moment. Next up, we have another web series card. We have the Growlithe. I believe all these cards have actually come from Japan. That one looks a little bit top heavy, but nothing too bad. Carrying on, we have the War Total, also from the web series and also first edition. As I say, there, there are a couple that aren't first edition. Uh, next up, we have the Diglett. All these cards are. Near mint condition, I'd say. I've definitely seen cards in worse condition get tens. Also seen ones in better condition get, get nines. Next up we have the Ivysaur. What is that? Yeah, that's Ivysaur. Fairly minty. First uncommon we have the Need Arena, also in a first edition. It's quite hard to tell on the front of these cards, whether it being like the e readers, whether they're well centered or not. So obviously, the border on the right hand side is a lot thicker. The Venomoth next. Leave once I've got these web series created. I think the set's 48, and I think I've got about 35 of them. Uh, but we'll have a look when these get back. The executor up next, which is also first edition, very clean. Yeah, it's, it's mainly the hollows that I'll be missing. This is a non-hollow rare though. It is the Raichu, as you can see the first edition stamp is missing. Which is actually rarer than the first edition in Japanese. And is very clean. Okay, next up, after those, because they're for my personal collection, are a few cards that I shall be selling once they come back. Hopefully pays for the submission cards that I want to keep. First up we have the Reshiram and Charizard Sun and Moon promo. This came in the uh, collection box. It was also a Pikachu and Zekrom card in the same same sort of box. Uh, next up we have the Charizard VMAX from Darkness Blaze. A card that I've managed to pull at eight, nine times because I opened a hell of a lot of Darkness Blaze when it first came out. Next up we have a Charizard card that I actually like because I'm not a fan of Charizard which is from the Generation set, this is part of 
the Radiant Collection. All these cards, apart from this one, which has got some lightning in that very top corner, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, all pack fresh. Next up from Obsidian Flame is the Charizard EX Full Art. Got quite lucky with Obsidian Flame and pulled all three Charizards within like the first five packs that I opened actually sold or traded the other two for cards that I collect. That is very clean. Next up we have a, another Charizard card. This one is the Charizard GX from uh, what's that? Is it Burning Shadows I believe. Again, very clean. Slightly thicker on the left than on the right but have cards with worse centering get tens. Next up I do like this Charizard as well it's the Charizard EX promo from the Generations boxes. I probably like it because it's got Flareon in the bottom it's also got Magma up in the top corner. This is surprisingly clean it is a little bit top heavy but again it might be within that 60-40 range. Next up, we have a Rhyhorn Reverse Hollow from Legendary Collection. I picked this up dead cheap, I think it was from a card show a while ago. And if these get tens, they go for big money. I've had a look, I think there is a print line on it. I'm not 100% sure because there's that much hollow, you can't really tell. But it is a very clean card. If I get a 10 in that, that is basically my submission paid for. We then have three trainer cards. This is where I butcher it. This is the Nita. I've forgotten what set it is from. It's from one of the GX holiday sets in Summer Moon. Nice waifu card there. Then from the same set we have the Adana. Again, these are very clean. Picked these up quite a while ago before I started grading cards. Obviously the Japanese waifus are quite expensive now. Uh, the Morgan I believe in the next set. There should have been one more, which was Evelyn, but I never managed to pick that one up. I believe that's the most expensive one as well. So, and the final five cards are also for my personal collection. First up is the Umbreon, Umbreon V from the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Pick this up in a trade with Pokedean very clean. We then have the Darkrai and Umbreon GX which I picked up from Mr. Fuji at the TCG Expo in Liverpool. We then have a Umbreon GX Full Art from Sun and Moon Base Set, card that I pulled myself. Is followed by from the same set which I picked up at another car show from Sam Chibi at Chibi Collectibles uh, is the same artwork but the rainbow version also from Sun and Moon Base. So I'm trying to collect every Umbreon card graded, obviously the higher the grade the better. And the final card in this submission was a card that I picked up from Poke Chloe and Poke Dean store, Collector's Card House. The Umbreon V Alternate Art from Evolving Skies. So that is my submission. Let me know in the comments what your favourite card was and do you think I'll get good grades? And I shall do a video when they return. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.
Oh, 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 oh.